What we want to touch on right here is Haile Selassie, subject matter, Haile Selassie and the Volkswagen conspiracy, the Volkswagen conspiracy. Now this is not to single out um, Volkswagen, from what we know it um, appears to be a very good um, economy uh, size sort of car. But there is so much more to these sigils and logos than um, generally meets the eye. And in particular concerning the King of Kings, Negustin the Guest, and this is the book we mentioned before, um, Betrayal of Ethiopia. Betrayal of Ethiopia, which really documents and highlights, as you can see, Kennedy and... and um, and that's Eisenhower. He's the one who announced the um, military-industrial complex. He's the one who said that Haile Selassie the first taught him things that he should have already known. And at the end of his presidency, he finally had the guts or the nerves, being a military man, but recognizing the threat of um, of the military-industrial complex. He actually mentions it. But it's very interesting when we. Uh, uh, think about Eisenhower. There's a newspaper um, interview where he tells a newspaper reporter that his imperial majesty, he was so shocked that his majesty taught him things that he should have known already. That after being this old and seasoned uh, a veteran, and we're speaking about Eisenhower right here, who you see walking out with his imperial majesty, taught him things that he should already know. Now, we know this is this is Kennedy here and his wife. It's interesting what his wife is wearing. You know, it's almost like mourning in a sense. It, it's strange. You know, but anyway, His Majesty visits um, the United States and this visit where his imperial majesty is one of the first African leaders, black men, we can say, to then overnight in the White House, you understand, um, one who's not a slave or a servant or something like that. And then um, less than 50 days later, Kennedy would be um, uh, assassinated in the Lone Star State. Even that has significance. And here you see him with, um, I think, Roosevelt. And that should be Roosevelt right there. But this is a very good book by um, uh, Asifa. Adesoris, um, called Betrayal of Ethiopia, Betrayal of Ethiopia, because basically this is an Ethiopian who's given us first-hand documentation to prove what many of us as Arastasari for the longest time have already um, alleged and claimed, made claims, and even presented proof that there was a conspiracy against the Lion of Judah. There's a conspiracy against the Black Christ, we can say Christ in human character. How about what um, they call it in America, what the Covenant Pro, right? To stop the rise of the who? Of the Black Messiah. This is serious business now. You understand? This is very, very serious business. I mean, who can be a more likely candidate of the Black Messiah than Haile Selassie I? I mean, if you don't know this, then you need to learn history, our story. And then you can understand the mystery. So, you know, we point out this particular book right here. Um, we had to get this off of our shelves. Um, just to show and to demonstrate and, and, and to point that out, that's a good book. It's in English. There's a section in Amharic, but there's a good section uh, that's in English. Now, what we want to address, because there's a couple of subject matters that we would like to catch up on and address in this particular season right here. And one is the... Um, we call it the VW. We did a kind of a word pick a little bit um, early, and hopefully we'll be able to upload that, and you'll be able to check that out pretty soon on how the CIA, Illuminati, the German, Bavarian, VW. But here we want to give a demonstration on the board so that one would be able to more clearly see what we're talking about. So let's let's go through this. We call this um, 
um, his imperial majesty, how to slice the first, let's say, H S I, right? Um, and the Volks Wagen, let's call it conspiracy. It's just to title it and to continue to tell it. What do we mean by this? First of all, if you look at the, the corporate logo, you know what the logo looks like. It looks like something like this. It's a V like this, and it's a W, and then it's like a circle. It looks something like that. A little, you know, VW, right? And the V, right, in the Hebrew, some call it the, the Vav, but really more correctly, it's the Wow. And it looks something like this. You understand? It looks something like this. It's like um, when we say Yod, Hey, Wow, Hey. You understand? For the divine name. But it has a numerical value of six. Right? Now, in, uh, in uh, German, they call the W, right here, the W is called Double V. Double V, right? Now, what is Double V? Double V is double V, right? Double V. So it's V, V. Now, it's kind of very obvious that if this is six, right, in the Hebrew, and it's according to the, they said the, the Hebraic science, the Hebraic science of um, Kabbalah, or Kabbalah, right? Kabbalah, right? And what is so interesting about this is that the Volkswagen, the Volkswagen, His Majesty had made an interesting comment when they were basically escorting him out of the palace, they said, for the last time, you know, when, when they said the 1974 arrest. And he says, something to the effect of, is this what you've come to take me away in? Is this? Now, Volkswagen, the Volkswagen, Volkswagen, is actually, and, and I'll get this right here. The Volkswagen is called a, some call it the Volkswagen bug, right? And then others call it the Volkswagen beetle. The bug, the beetle. Now, perhaps you might remember this, um, I think it looks something like this. You know, or the the scarab. You know the scarab. The scarab is called what? The scarab is called kepri, right? The scarab beetle is called kepri, 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 kepri. And in ancient Egypt, it's the sign for being or becoming, as well as transformation. Now, this is this is very very interesting. So, you have to recognize that everything has its it has a duality to it. You understand? Even every name has a duality. That means it has a positive aspect, but then it also can have a negative implication as well. So there's a balance, you know, to each name. There's like two sides, as one, one can say. Now, this right here is so clear. It says the, the double V because the Volkswagen actually was Hitler's. Now, if we put Hitler up here, right? Hitler, he was the partner of um, Benito Mussolini, and they both were what they call uh, fascists, right? Or we say the Nazis, right? The Nazis and the fascists. Now, here's what's so very interesting. In World War, in World War um, Two, right? Before World War Two, actually, and this is the part of history or our story, or world history, that they don't tell people, that if they had listened to Hala Selassie I, that war could have been averted. Now, we know the whole thing about the League of Nations, and people have gotten into this political argument, so forth and so on, but this is all judgment, basically, on the European powers, because this is the same age that saw reverses in so-called colonialism, the first wave, as one could say, of... Um, Pan-Africanism, you know, saying was about to, and in this period of time, after what occurred with the invasion of Ethiopia by Mussolini's Italy, but then you have to look behind Mussolini's Italy. So when we touch on this Volkswagen, and we went into a little bit more detail elsewhere, but just to give one a demonstration that the V, 
You understand? In the Hebrew is Vav. Some say, especially the Polish and the German Jews, they say Vav. We would say Wow or Bamarinya from the Gutters. We say Wowe, 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 right? But they say Wow or Vav, right? The 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 Hebrew letter looks something like this. You understand? While the Yod, of course, is much smaller. The Yod would be something more like that by comparison just to have you understand that right there but let's let's just remove this because we don't want to confuse one we want to understand this very carefully so when we have the w the double v this is six this is six and this is six they took him away in a volkswagen vehicle his majesty commented on this now what is kind of so sad is that many of us are just beginning to maybe put this all together today. And this is not to say that the Volkswagen is the only um, popular sigil or logo out there. Most of the Illuminati companies, so forth and so on, and the businesses and corporatism, their logos, they use these like pentacles. It's called a pentacle because, for lack of a better word, occult um, magic, but more appropriately sorcery, is done through these particular pentacles. For example, if we have um, a dollar, and you already know this is on the dollar. We've been talking about it. Others have talked about it. When you look at the dollar, it's actually, it's actually sorcery. It's actually magic. So if ones are motivated or, or as they say, compelled to have a certain relationship with money, and, and this kind of is a good segue for, for another subject matter that we want to touch on concerning money and finances because this is a very holy season and time for us as Hebrews. This is the fall festival season. And in the fall festival season is one of the three times where according to our covenant, the law of our God and Father of our Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, all the males of the Beit Israel are to appear before Yahweh, or to appear in the place where he has set his name. Now the thing with our father, the king of kings, is that they sought to erase his majesty's name. It kind of reminds me, of, to a degree, of um, the new fringe. We got to catch the, the season premiere of the fringe. And this is not off subject matter, but even within a lot of those they not tell you, but they tell you if you can understand, if you understand the history, if you understand the mystery, if you understand the contextuality, then you can really peep many things that's being said, as well as understand what they're seeking to project. Because part of their movie making and, 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 and media is to project the thoughts. It's, it's what they call predictive programming. Now, what's very interesting in this... Um, the creeping coup, remember it was called the creeping coup. That's the first part of the conspiracy against the king of kings, the creeping coup. Most don't even understand what was the real reason that the so-called Illuminati, Club of Rome, Freemasons, so forth and so on, why would they seek to come against Haile Selassie in the way that they did? It's all about the currency. It's all about economics. It's, it's almost like if a black man, even in America right now, has a lot of money and is able to command money well, some say this could be part of the real reason behind what happened to Dr. York. You understand? Um, some can say this is probably part of the reason what happened to Yahweh ben Yahweh. You understand? Whenever a black man is successful and it's not in and through their quote-unquote God, it's not through the, the gods of the nations. In other words, through the demons, the New World Order, the Gentile world, dominion, white supremacy. If it's not through their gods, then they say this is against the law because in their worldview, everything has to go through their particular way. Though they say everybody has freedom of choice and so forth and so on, they only put the two sides of their picture before you and say, choose this one or choose that one. So, 
when we look at 1974, <clears throat> this is this all now occurring in 1974. Now, 1974 is just before the world is about to go through what was to be known as the Cold War. The Cold War. Ethiopia was betrayed, and as it says right here, betrayed for the Cold War. You understand? And not so much betrayed by Russia, but betrayed by America. And not so much by white America, but really by the lost sheep and the Ethiopian Hebrews and black America. Now, you have to understand this about Negroes, niggas. This is why Elijah Muhammad would say in 1914 that the white man's time was up. In other words, the Gentile world dominion. If we look at it biblically, it's the Gentile world dominion. Is it racially? Well, the Bible says that there is a chosen seed. Seed means race, and that chosen race is the melanated race. Now this, please, my brothers and sisters, we have to be melanated, you understand, know in spirit and in truth. Because a lot of ones who are melanated are wasting their melanin. In fact, they're being vampired by these um, artificial human, human artificial, non-human entities, you understand, know or those who are on the we say the animal, they're on the animal level of consciousness, they're on the animal wavelength. This is where the whole Darwin and the ape form and so forth and so on. They are speaking about their origins, you know, saying looking into their origin. This is why the history is so important before we get into the mystery. But now bringing this forward to this right here, we had touched on a couple of other points concerning this whole um this whole VW idea because you remember there was a movie a couple of years ago this this reminds me where where I wanted to actually begin but it's a good thing for me to bring this into um, into uh, exhibit there was a movie that was called I don't have much room up here but there's a movie that was called It's a Mad Mad World in fact they used to almost play it every year and I must have seen that movie a couple of times. There's a whole bunch of top-notch so-called Hollywood, so-called actors, comedy actors, so forth and so on. It's called It's a Mad, Mad World, or either it was a, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. They, they repeat it mad a couple of times. Now, in this movie, they talk about the big W, the big W. This is why even when I heard about, like, um, What's his name? Uh, Bush. And everybody started calling him Dubia. I thought he was Dubia, W. They were talking about 6-6. Six, six. Now, you know, there's the Route 66. Now, Freeman Perspective. Um, Freeman Perspective is, uh, is, is a white boy out there that puts out some pretty straightforward um, stuff and, and breaking down.